So that was a, an eclectic mix of shots that we had for you there. And now we have a couple of filmmakers from that collection. Uh, do me a favour, make my job a lot easier and go down the line and let us know who you are and what you had up on the screen for us today. Um, hi there, I'm Evan Preston and I'm the writer and director of Song, the last film that was just shown. My name is Daniel Keeble. I um, was director and writer for the film called Split Check, um, which was about halfway through the, the programme, uh, two women discussing um, a divorce. Nice little one to break up, uh, quite a serious little section. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, uh, Evan, the last time I saw a shot from you was The Stag. Very stark contrast <laughs> in style and tone. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how song came to be? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, The Stag is very different. I've, I've wanted to move away from horror. I've kind of made a lot of horror films previously. And... Um, Song, I wanted to kind of um, look into kind of my more artistic side with, I mean, I, in school I, I painted, I've always loved art. Um, and when I went to um, Vietnam a few years ago, I was so kind of inspired by the, the art there uh, and the culture. And it really it just kind of stuck with me. And... When I was in university, I spoke to lots of uh, Vietnamese students about this, and they started kind of telling me uh, their stories. And it really just it resonated with me. The art, all of that, it started to build a story in my mind, and uh, I, uh, I wrote song. <laughs> so, so you've obviously learned from some of these stories you've been told, but was there any sort of like personal aspect to it, or why did you feel like this was the one you wanted to tell? Oh, good question. Um, I, can't, I, that's, uh, I think the individual story of like an artist trying to be appreciated for their art is something that I, you know, I really connect with. Um, I mean, my family have always been incredibly supportive of my work, but I think just on a larger scale, I mean, I think wanting to kind of have people connect with your work in some way is, I'm, I'm sure it's you know absolutely universal with all artists and filmmakers. So I think that's why I really connected with it and wanted to tell that specific story. And talking about contrast from, from shorts they've done before, Daniel, you've got two shorts in this festival this year with Nuts and a Split Check. Not a, not a grim sort of <laughs> tale in sight. So how did Split Check come about? Um, Split Check came about through um, Arc Pictures, who produced the film. We were um, we were asked to provide work experience for a student right. one day last summer, and we were in a period where we hadn't made any films for a while. We were writing for a feature film, so we hadn't done anything. So we thought, let's create a new short film through just providing work experience for a, um, a student. Um, so I wrote the script. We had Alice and Samantha, the producers from ARC, they're actors. So they wanted to do some acting. I wanted to direct something. So I wrote the story, a simple story, two women in a room. We had the location for free. And it was an experiment more than anything. Could we make a short film, literally zero budget, in a day? And I was the only crew member. So I filmed it. I did the cinematography, the lighting, um, directed, obviously. Um, and I was teaching the student throughout the whole process throughout the day and we also did an edit as well and I color graded on the same day um, so yeah it was, it was a, a, an experiment that I think um, came off quite nicely. It definitely came off quite nicely because as you say zero budget two women sitting at a table and it looked fantastic up there it looked absolutely brilliant up there. Thank you. So um, the A and the R of K, ARC mm on the screen together. Is this the first time we've seen them together on the screen? Um, no, it's not. Our second film, they were both in the film called um, The Woods Near Jacob's Farm. Right. Um, and they've been in all the films that we've done so far. Never really together in the same scene, to be honest with you. Um, so this is the first drama film that we've done. And it allowed them both to really have a lot of dialogue and a lot of screen time. Because a lot of our films don't have much dialogue because we, we, we do a lot of horror films. 
um, and thrillers and stuff. So this was a great chance, and they did such an amazing job, I believe. Um, really, I was so happy with their performances, really powerful, really strong. Um, and even, um, I mean, and I made, made a point of it on the, on the day of the film, and just the space in between the dialogues, the, the gaps where there are no words, uh, really seeing the emotion drive through that story was important, and they pulled it off. Yeah. Evan, can you talk to us a little bit about the VFX sequence towards the end? That's an yeah. interesting sequence, and I'd like to know how you did that. Uh, yeah, so that was quite uh, quite a process, really, because from the uh, from the get go, I had this vision of a kind of a painting coming to life, and to be honest with you, I had no idea how we were going to do that. It was written uh, in the script, um, so it was a lot about learning about VFX for me. I hadn't worked with this kind of sophisticated level of VFX before, so it meant kind of uh, consulting with uh, far more canny people than that in that area than me. And um, it used a kind of a variety of different techniques on the day. We had like uh, facial tracking software, mm -hmm. uh, some kind of motion captures, all of that kind of stuff, really, really cool stuff. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm, again, it, it kind of, it blows me away every time I see it because we, we didn't have a huge budget to accomplish that on and it meant a kind of uh, working with VFX artists who, was willing to give us some leniency. It took a long time to make it all uh, kind of come together, but I think it turned out quite well in the end. So with that, f filmmaking is a process and it's always a learning process. From these particular shots, what would you say you guys have learned the most from these shots? Is there anything you've picked up from them? Um, the value of a crew and time <laughs> to make films. <laughs> Um, it's a collaboration process and, and time goes very quickly and money goes very quickly and everything is important when you're making a film. So um, if you can do it, we, we, we pulled that off, but that's a very basic film, split check. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't even be up here talking about it because it was too <laughs> easy to film. But um, And compared to other films being shown throughout this whole festival, I feel like a fraud sitting up here talking about no, no. the film that we've got here compared to the beautiful and amazing films um, being shown. Yeah, but um, we're very proud of the film. But it, yeah, a bigger crew is, is vital. You're definitely not a fraud because the three three of you involved are producers, and you're letting the two women do most of the grunt work. So that's not being a fraud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yourself. <laughs> Sorry for it. <laughs> um, I think uh, for me, working on song. I mean, I've made quite a few short films, um, but. The biggest difference I felt with this one was I really felt every single person involved really believed in it. And just having um, having that kind of support behind you from each and every person goes such a long way. It's it, it bleeds its way into the film. Everyone is willing to go that, that extra mile. And I really think it shows. Um, yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna move over to audience. Is Peter got them? Yeah. Do we have any questions? Um, not quite really. I have a question about Evan. Obviously, the story, like especially in, in Asia, of children who go to the arts is a you know, really big struggle and really touching. I just want to know more about how you got connected to the story in time in Vietnam and why you think it was important to make it to a big screen for the other. Um, well, I think it's it's important that it was brought to the big screen because, uh, as you say, I think it's it's so universal. Everyone, to some degree, can relate to one of the themes in the film. I mean, there's there's loss in the film. There's kind of not being um, having your creativity uh, respected or uh, you know tolerated to a certain degree, um, and I think. Everyone has a little bit of that inside of them, whether it be you know a job or their, their own artwork or film. Um, and yeah, there's there's an importance in in showing that for me. And in terms of the um, so, sorry, what's your comment about the? Um, it's, uh, is there, the first... is there, I know people personally from Asia and China, where it's mm -hmm. even more pressure there because it requires. Yeah, um, I don't know your parents and mine are very supportive, but some others, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the children. Yeah. 
yeah, I, I think it's not having your, your art respected is, is really tough. And particularly from the students I spoke to when I was making this film, that was something that absolutely came across so much. And there, there was a kind of almost a responsibility in making sure that was conveyed properly in the film. I mean, you can't underestimate that kind of feeling. So consulting with them and having the, the script read and criticised and just making sure it was authentic as possible was so important to me and I think it really it helped the film greatly. Anyone else? So the, the last thing I'm going to end with is that I would... Obviously, when we do the festival, we have a lot of people come through that are looking to get into the industry and looking to, to start filmmaking. What one bit of advice would you guys give to these people wanting to get going? I think um, don't be afraid to get it down on the page to show people. I think one of the things that a lot of filmmakers or writers uh, fear is showing their work to other people. And it, it can be really tough to begin with, but actually showing it, getting criticism, getting a response, whatever that is, is so important. And understanding what works and what doesn't work can make the piece. So that would be my advice, getting it out there in whatever form you can. Okay. Um, my advice would be to um, watch lots of films, read lots of books, learn your craft. Um, and have a knowledge of film history and, and, uh, and whatnot. But on the flip side of that, live your life, go out there, experience the world so you have a story to tell and you, you can share yeah. with everyone else. And did the work experience kids like pass or? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Anyway, well, with that said, um, thank you so much for submitting your movies, letting us show your movies, and most yeah. of all, thank you for being here. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you.